So today's video is going to be kind of like the last video, um, more of a spotlight video. And today it's going to be on sanding the hub. So this is actually the step right after I get done with the bandsaw. I take it straight over to this drum sander and start sanding on the hub. And I get a lot of comments about the drum sander. Um, the company that is listed on the side, it says is out of business. So I guess they don't make them anymore. Um, but it's been the best band sander to, or belt drum sander. Um, it actually came with the company. So it's been around, well, we've had the company almost 20 years now. So um, it's been around a long time and does a really good job. But um, you can see that I just, the first thing that I do is I go around the face like you saw in the first part of the video. And I have a circle on the face that is my guide. And I don't want to go inside that circle because when the prop is finished, the customer is going to put a aluminum crush plate on it that is perfectly round. So if I um, skew that face at all, you're really going to be able to tell when you put that perfectly round crush plate on the prop. You would be able to see if I had, you know, an edge distance problem because I sanded on one side more than I did the other. Um, so you can kind of see the circle there in that clip. And, and that's what I'm doing there. I'm just making sure that I sand right up to that line and not inside of it so I can keep my perfect circle. And that's really the only lines that I have on it. Um, from there, I'm really just trying to smooth it out, take out any gouges. I don't want any lumps or bumps, of course. And I just, I'm just looking to smooth it up. If I started taking out more material than just what it takes to get those lines out, that's when I would start running into problems um, with my, probably with my balance. Um, this affects my vertical balance. So if my vertical balance is off, I'm going to come back and I'm going to sand the heavy side just like you see now. But after, and I kind of, I do a mixture. I'll do, I'll sand around the face a little bit and then I'll sand on the, on the part where it blends into the blade a little bit. And then I'll come back and I'll check that face again and then I'll come back and blend it into the blade. And I just keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And that helps me blend it all together in a nice, smooth, um, continuous flow for the transition. Because that's really the hardest part is that transition and making it look nice and smooth and slick. It, it takes, it took me a long time to do it. My dad would say, yeah, still ugly. <laughs> so it took me a long time to get them pretty. And every time I show them, yep, still ugly, still ugly. <laughs> so, um, but I, but I've got it down now. <laughs> so, um, you can see I'm still going back and forth and back and forth. And I even sand actually about six inches into the blade. I'll sand blending it in. So when you see, um, right there as I go, I mean, past, just the hub area and actually get into the blade a little bit because that motion, that swirl motion to get it all the way through is what gives you the smooth transition. And these hubs, these three inch thick hubs are probably my favorite to do. They're a lot easier to do than the two and a quarter or inch and a half thick hubs. And they're heavier but they're so much easier to transition because I have so much more material to work with. Same thing when it comes to balancing. I enjoy balancing these thicker props more. I feel like it's easier because I do have so much more material to work with. And this whole process maybe takes 15, 20 minutes to do. To sand all the lines out and then when you know once I balance I come back and and adjust accordingly to what needs to be done sanding on the heavy side to make it balance vertically but for the initial part it only takes this part only takes about 15 20 minutes to get it all sanded out on all sides
and a lot of you have mentioned that you would like longer videos so this one's a whole seven minutes long but that's about <laughs> two to three minutes longer than the last one so I'm working on it And this is what it looks like straight off the bandsaw. So um, that's what I'm starting with whenever I start sanding. I've already done that corner, it's good to go. So I tried to film from some different angles because I wanted you guys to see how quickly um, the lines disappear. But it's just really hard to get the right angle um, with the shadow and the light. I really need a different light um, and a different bulb in that light um, to maybe help that. But I think this angle showed that the best about how quickly the lines come out. And then there it is, all done, all the lines out. And from this step, we'll start sanding on the blades and then um, balancing and then I'll come back and probably stand on this some more if the balance is out.